Oh my god. Don't go. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you might want to turn your lights off because once again, we're coming at it. We're doing it. Make sure to smash hit the subscribe bell. Top 10 this time. Exploration. Now, as with most Japanese videos, the source of this Japan again, bro. is unknown. This but is gonna be footage, good. This is gonna be good. We see a guy exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Japan. He quickly realizes that he's made a huge mistake. I like he that. I love that. Something <laughs> truly I love terrifying. That. Damn. He made that mistake. Okay, what mistake he made? So he's going inside this abandoned house. Everything fell as though like no was no one was here for maybe at least like two three years. Maybe even more. Maybe even more. Oh, oh, eh, oh, oh. Yo, why are you walking down like that? Yo, whenever you feel like... I, I hope that nobody pulls that Houdini here. Bah! Pretty sure I got somebody. Pretty sure I got somebody. Okay, so he's going inside. That look... That room doesn't look good, bro. So graffiti, it's overgrown. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Bro! 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 Nah, that's... That's paid actress. Paid actress. Paid actress. <laughs> paid actress. Yo, why am I scared? Man, when you see the hair open like that, when you see the silhouette... Oh! 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 Shit. Oh the my god! is frozen in fear as he sees oh, a woman damn. strangely swaying back and forth in the room. <laughs> oh my god, He repeatedly god, and carefully peeks around the door at the woman. When suddenly she appears much closer and seems to just charge at him. Bro, Understandably, I... he runs oh for my his god, life. we're now we're first, just getting this started. Woman is appears to be a very strange and very real person. But when we take a closer look at the footage, we can see that the woman actually emerges right out of a solid wall. But is Let it me real, get my shotgun. Or is it just a very creepy hoax? My God, <laughs> yo, I'm done, bro. I didn't think it would the be. River Inn. In its day, the River Inn in Reno, Nevada, was a popular spot for the elite of Nevada to rest and bathe in its natural hot springs. For oh, decades, yeah? the River Inn thrived as a popular resort, but underneath its happy facade, there were many dark tales of drownings, murder, and mysterious disappearances. Oh, it is said oh, that the damn. mafia had a financial stake in the River Inn and that anyone who had a quote, accident at the River Inn, well, they just seemed to disappear. The River Inn closed its doors under mysterious circumstances around 1983 and was okay, left abandoned. Cut to 2022. Oh, today, 40, the old River Inn has years. new owners, Dana and Lawrence. 39, actually. During their stay at the inn, both the owners Maybe. and their workers Almost have experienced 40. terrifying supernatural activity. Paranormal investigators Ryan, River, Nick, and Wyatt from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal are invited to investigate the allegedly haunted River Inn. At the end, the team is told the story of a man named Ray who was a long-term resident and caretaker of the hotel, along with his wife, Janet. The couple lived happily at the inn for many years until Ray tragically passed away in his room from accidental morphine poisoning. Just Damn. before her own death, Ray's wife Janet swore that she saw her loving husband on the hotel property. The team heads inside to explore the ground floor of the hotel where Ray and Janet used to live. Yeah, I love the colors, you, the color correction. Sign. So they are, so they're ghost hunters, right? What the f whoa, 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 what was that? I did catch EMF? What? The EMF just went crazy. Yeah, I heard it. Ray, are what's you this? in here? Yo, what's you this? Good? Yo, what's anybody knows the name of this device? Uh, let me know if you know. There's no one It detects the the presence, whoa, right? Whoa, the whoa. was that? Is there someone Not in there? Bang. What the f was that? You're kidding. You're kidding. Yo, get a shotty. Get a shotgun, bro. Hello? Get a shotgun. Oh. Uh, Hang on. That just scared the crap out of me. I was right behind. Are we out right here? The guys decide to head upstairs to the second floor in hopes of making contact with the spirits of Ray and Janet. But what happens next <laughs> Yo. is downright chilling. Damn. But now Did you just hear that? Chilling, what? right? He says. Are you me? What, what was that? I so hope I caught it. What? I swear to God, I just heard a woman go. Okay. No, okay. downright chilling. I heard shuffling after it. But now Did you just hear that? No, I don't necessarily heard that. Oh. Hey! 
You okay? What's that? You okay? I sure I just had someone whisper right there next to me, dude. Yeah. Are you okay? Holy sh! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where was it? Right here. I heard that. I'm telling you, someone. Yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, again, bro. Again, again. loud knock. Yeah, I heard that. Do you not want us in here? I don't know. It might be. No harm. I totally heard that. I'm shaking so bad right now. Easy. Holy oh, shit. I heard it's something. Holy Dude, it might be just uh, somebody trying to here. pull a prank or. It's a crackhead. It's a crackhead. Maybe this caught it, but. I'm, I'm being scared to be right here. Thoughts, guys? Thoughts, Chad? Cap or a, cap? A lady, though. Okay, look. When I'm leaning up here, okay. I had my ear right here. Right. Mm. Facing this way. Okay. And I heard it. Like someone just say something to me. Yo, everybody's yeah. calm, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Guys! It's just I'm the kidding. wind. Just it's just that. probably yes, the wind. I heard that. I heard that one. Who is that? Oh, I, I, I think there was somebody hanging on the roof? What are you trying to say? I don't the know. Now my brain is making saying, images up. Okay. Then River yeah, hears someone but that's whispering probably and something else. in his ear. My guy, it could be it could be just a wind hitting the walls up and making that sort of sound, okay? Again. But they're already oh, yeah. going Hi. in scared. Again. Guys, I'm going in scared, but so I'm seeing some guys stuff no that isn't what they probably are about there. To capture as they decide to use the spirit box to get more answers. Oh, a spirit box! camera okay. recording downstairs films something shocking. Oh damn! I don't think I ever heard him say shocking. Where are so, we? So let me back away though. Oh my god! What that was right doing? below. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so what's happening? I don't know. Replay? Oh my god. Oh, oh damn. damn! So there's like a hand of sorts, right? Are you downstairs? I am! I am! I, I am. 100%. Do you want us to go back down there? A dark, translucent hand clutches at the doorframe of one of the downstairs hotel rooms. Damn. Meanwhile, Ryan hears a noise from below and asks if the entity that they are talking to is downstairs. The spirit box answers, I am. So did the guys capture the ghost of Ray on camera? Let me know what you think. Uh, I, it might be them just plotting it out though. I don't know. Stork River Inn over on the YouTube channel, it's, Gwen Paranormal. It's really hard to believe when you're actually, when you have a channel of you kind of like going around and busting, not saying that you're faking it, but it's kind of like hard. If it was somebody that does not, but because if this is your job and you're doing that, then for me, it's very hard, right? Unconfined. This oh, next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer who wishes to remain anonymous. He explains in his email that he works as a corrections officer at a federal prison in Kentucky that holds over 700 inmates that are kept in lockdown 24-7. But God late one bless. night at around 4 a.m., a hallway security camera starts to capture movement in one of the hallways. He takes out his phone and begins to record the CCTV feed. Fred, there's no f***ing doors opening. You can't even see it. Yo, so this is happening in a prison? Oh, oh God cool. bless, bro. What's that? And he wasn't oh, even back there. Yo, oh, this? Man. He was at 531. Like, he was up. Like, no doors are open. It might be a Shivaba. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. But yeah, it looks like a person. Boom. The officer and his co workers have no idea who or what this could be, as no one could have been standing in that hallway. Damn. At the time, the other guard on duty was far away in an entirely different part of the prison. So, what? My guy, it really feels like that he was moving his head. So now you can see his head. Do you think? Let me and know. And then it kind of down in the. You see here. You see here. It, it feels like that. The, the head kind of moved, L like that. Like like that. You know. Attachment. It was like that. Like that. Now you know? these next videos were shared to the internet by Diego Spikers, who might seem familiar to you as I featured him once before. Diego claims that he recently moved into a new apartment in Colombia with his wife and has experienced terrifying activity ever since. You better hide your wife. You better hide your wife, man. Si, hágale, hágale. Uy, marica, venga. What? Que siñero rápido. Wait, what? Marica, perro lo grabé, siñero lo grabé. Wait, what? What just happened? What, previously? 
Yo, 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 why? Oh, eh, eh, eh. Bro. Bro. No way, bro. No way. There has to be a backroom. Since Somebody... that time, Diego made the shocking discovery that he had a sister named Maria who died at a very young age. He believes that this could be the spirit that is haunting him. Bro, also recently, no Diego's niece Amy has come to live with him and his wife. Unfortunately, the paranormal presence seems to have attached that looks itself like a hand. to little Amy. <laughs> bro, that was a face of a... <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Oh damn, oh my god. Yo, let me... You let me get my shotgun up. <laughs> now, nah, that's great acting. That's... Not it's yet. gonna jump out. It's gonna jump out. I know it's gonna jump out. I know it's gonna jump out. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what the Amy. actual... Amy is fast asleep in bed when a childlike figure can be seen standing on her bed. Yo, one when Diego second. yanks at the sheet, it vanishes into thin air. Only Bro, a few days later, in the middle the of the actual... night, Diego hears strange childlike laughter coming from his living room. When he goes to investigate, he- All right, listen, listen here, listen, listen. I don't want to challenge anybody's belief or anything, but damn, okay, let's be objective about it. How can this be legit? Uh, or if it if it's fake, if it's fake, how can you fake that? There, there gotta be a way to fake to that, his if core. there is. But, but really seems really seems really seems hard oh my god Amy. oh my god bro that is wild bro Amy. that is yo i'm freaked out dude like dang amy. I... amy appears to be asleep sitting with her back to the tv stand but two pale skinny arms seem to be reaching out from the tv cabinet and playing with Yo, her I don't hair. know if I want to continue the hands <laughs> quickly disappear when Diego approaches his niece and attempts to wake her. Diego says that Amy has no recollection of what happened. But Gotta he be is strong. fearful that Gotta the activity strong. in his home is becoming more intense every day. Gotta be but strong. Gotta be what strong. What do you think? Is Dude, it it's... real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Yeah, if this okay. If this is an elaborate hoax, it's a really good one, bro. This is probably the the best one I've seen so far. Brothers Keeper. Paranormal investigators Victor, Paolo, and Samuel from the YouTube channel Investigaso Sobrenatural are contacted by a distraught woman. She claims she's been violently haunted since her brother passed away from an accidental overdose in the bathroom of her family home in Brazil. Yeah, she don't believes do that her brother never left drugs, kids. and that his tormented soul is angry and is attacking her and her family. The woman, whose identity is kept anonymous, says that she believes that the stress of the haunting led to her mother's recent passing. Soon Gee. after their arrival, the investigators begin to witness the violent poltergeist activity for themselves. Oh my god. Yeah. Your brother is responsible for these manifestations. The air is heavy. Stay calm and relaxed, okay? Yo, I don't wanna... She's not well. I don't wanna continue this. Olha, vai ficar tudo bem. É, Everything will be fine. Você falou que seu irmão you morreu said your brother nessa casa, né? Here in the house. De de um and he took his life where the bathroom is. It was that bathroom over right there. Stay calm, okay? <laughs> Bro, it already started. <laughs> okay, so that, wait, what? Okay, hold up a second. So whenever I'm seeing the yellow text, does that mean that demon or spirit is supposedly talking? Respira fundo. Take a deep Respira breath, fundo. he said. Respira fundo, calm. Oh, yeah, calm down, hola. He just, just wants to make you upset. He just wants you to be scared and nervous. Respira fundo. Take a deep breath and calm down. Pense em Deus. Pense Think about God and positive tá things. Okay, yeah. Tá bom, okay, that's fundo. a good way. That's a good way. Take a deep breath, he said. Yes, calm. Viu? Ele só okay, why I feel like gente. something's gonna é só um, um, mais um pop out. Só isso, tá certo? Is that unbalanced? Tem condições de continuar? Are you able é. to continue? Porque é importante, yes. tem, não tem? Oh, okay, so that she uh, was talking. Como foi. Okay, so they muffled her voice. Okay, it makes sense, makes sense. Que seu irmão faleceu. Okay, so he passed away. Oh. Calma, calma. Okay, I swear to God, I swear to God, there was something here that I was seeing earlier. Like, I, I actually, yeah, this, you see this? I actually looked at it a couple of times, and I thought I was just seeing um, things. Um. 
There's a person behind. Calm, there's a person calm. behind. <laughs> there's a person behind. Probably a crack. Oh, fica calmo. Oh god damn, oh god, oh god damn! The mirror broke by itself? Oh, My god. He said... Damn! Yeah, film it. Is there a way to escape this room? Is there, like, maybe put a... Like, check down, check down? Like, like, yeah, yeah, just move aside. Yo, don't touch it with your bare hands, my guy. Like, maybe just... The girl is not well, uh, get her a cheer, she's not well. Yeah, dude, like, who could be if... Respira, oh, vai ficar tudo bem, tá? Respira, respira, yeah. Pensa em coisas boas, coisas Think about God and positive things, focus your thoughts on God. Olha pra mim, olha Look at me, look at me, he said. Think about good things. Tá bom? He won't leave me alone. Right, okay. Okay, for a second I thought that the chair was moving on itself, right? <laughs> Dang, dude. Yo, how, what what you guys think of this? Yeah, dang. Great acting, elaborate hoax, or there is some truth to this one. I don't know, man. Like, come, come, respire. He got goosebumps. Kitchen plates fall and cookware begins to shake. Then when the woman points out where the bathroom is, yeah, so there was somebody appears to here. almost yeah. punch at her through the curtain. A mirror in the bathroom breaks into pieces. But when they I check think the we're room, fine. I'm gonna put the shot there's away. no one there. Yep. The woman becomes so upset from the incident that the investigators decide to have her leave. Now, in an attempt to calm the angry spirit, the men gather around a table where the man's body was temporarily placed before his burial. They light candles on the table and begin to discuss the situation. <laughs> things just get weirder. Oh, things get weirder. So let me get my shotgun here. I ask you not to judge. The despair of that girl crying so much she had to leave her quickly. Yeah. Look at this, it happened immediately. Help the cameraman. Okay, the, the good thing here, ladies and gentlemen, the good thing here is that the cameraman never dies, okay? So I think he's gonna be fine. The door slams the cameraman open and the cameraman alive. drops through the floor from an extreme panic attack. The investigators look after him and after a necessary break, they continue their investigation. In an attempt to calmly communicate with the aggressive spirit, Investigator Paolo volunteers to lie down on the table in hopes of creating a connection with the spirit. Dang, they want to continue investigating? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. I'm curious. I want him to understand why we are here. In his mind, he thinks that we're here to provoke him. It's an opportunity to lower the frequency to communicate with him. A more friendly communication. As Paolo is explaining his intention, what looks like a ghostly apparition seems to appear behind team member Victor. I don't know about that one though, so... Yeah, I see a little bit of movement. Yeah, I do, I do, I do, but, but this probably is the... Oh, damn. Yeah, this one, what you will about, what you're gonna see is a little bit creepy. Paolo here. lies down on the table. Like right here. Yeah, you see here? So he very much highlighted the, that's like the eyes here, that's the face, that's the head. God damn, bro. Paolo lies down on the table, and what happens next is downright terrifying. Oh, if you want to be in cima do Paulo, pode se, se, se apresentar aqui. Feel free to introduce né? yourself. Consente sua energia. Focus your energy no, and grab no Paulo's Paulo, arm or leg. Dele, no pescoço do Paulo. Or Paulo's neck. Vai, Paulo. Come on, Paulo. Make yourself comfortable. Concentra. Concentrate and try to grab Paulo's Paulo. neck. My God. Okay. Hold on a second. Wait. What? 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 Yo, wait, what, wait a minute. Where his body go? Dang, bro, that's... You're not greater than God, hell yeah. You're not greater than God, you will not be greater than God is much more powerful than you. You won't scare us. 
He's challenging us. I think he did it to confront us. I'm shaking. Is something pouring here or what? Like here. Oh, oh he's he's like he's shaking. Look at how I'm shaking. Doors from the cabinet violently slam open and closed on their own. Now the previously fearless ghost investigators seem to get. Okay, listen, man. If that happened like once or twice, I would be like, yeah, it could be cap, but is there a way to, maybe it's mechanical. I'm just trying to find like, maybe there, this is mechanical and it's just happening multiple times. Just a little bit times. rattled by the extreme activity. You never they know, you never know. They are completely unsure how to continue. And not long after this incident, they decide to leave the property. Yeah, good to do. So what do you do. think is going on in this if it's family legit, home that's in good Brazil? To do. Could this really be the brother's spirit lashing out at his own family from the great beyond? Damn. Or could there be something a bit more sinister haunting this house? Let me this know one was down good. in the comments. Honestly, whether you believe it or not, uh, uh, it, it's it's a good one. It's a good one. I, I would say watch these as entertainment. Dude. Seeing what appears to be an all-white apparition of a young girl running at a very fast speed. The following video was recorded late at night just outside Bellflower Elementary School. <laughs> late at night? Wait, oh, eh, eh. Yeah, there's a person running. Now, what makes this story especially bizarre is that so many residents reported seeing this running girl that multiple police units were sent out to search the area. Damn. Even though there were no reports of any missing children in the area at the time. I think she wanted to burn calories down. He actually Maybe. saw the running girl. In his police report, he says, quote, I was surprised by what I saw. The person appeared to be a small child, but running rather erect and too quickly for a child." Unquote. Damn. The officer then says that he pursued the running girl, but she seemed to disappear into thin air. Bruh. Police checked the entire area, but no girl was ever found. We need so better is this cameras, supernatural bro. or just an insanely fast seven-year-old? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Yeah. It might be part a of PewDiePie's seven-year-old army. You never Ron know. and his bro. pregnant wife, Nicole, said that they recently experienced the most terrifying night of their lives. A night that they say changed them forever. The couple who live oh, in Ecuador dang. are getting ready for bed when things oh, yeah. take a terrifying turn. Yo, I, I'm okay, so I actually recorded this clip in Bizarre Bub. I did a reaction video. I'm not sure if that video will come out before this one or this one will come out after, but yeah, I've okay, seen that. So now we have a little bit more context because when I first saw this clip, I did not have much more context. It says that everything was quiet. Huang felt something on his back. That little thing. No, I don't think so. Yep, that happened. I was freaked out too when I saw for when, at the first time. Then yes, we'll look. No. Look, the woman is getting fr frantic. Who wouldn't get scared from that? But that's unbelie unbelievable, brother. I swear that's unbelievable. Look. Yeah, the, the mirror will fall. Uh, he's acting like he got punched. Or maybe he got punched. I don't know. Look, that's what... So yeah, she she got hit as well. So she uh, he took her. He takes her and just run down. Yeah, mira, mira, mira. And then the you will see the mirror kind of going down as well in a bit. Yeah, the, right there. The cabinet opens all at once. So everything is happening all at once, bro. That's... <laughs> That's truly bizarre. That is crazy. He has to get up. It's all over the house. But downstairs, everything is fine. They've already gone down there. He touches our belly. <laughs> Yo. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Yeah, mira. Mira mean looks, right? I had a Spanish friend who... Uh, I still have him as a friend, okay? He always says, Mira, Mira, Mira. Puta la mierda! Hey, hola! Look, there is all... There, it's already fallen. Damn, the TV fell? That's like a thousand dollars. Maybe even two thousand dollars TV right there. Yeah, you can see the cabinets here. It's all over the house, and there they go. Yeah, I mean, if this is legit, legit, then understandably you gotta run as fast as you can. But, but dang, like I've never seen a video like this before, where yes, you see that couch just falling. Goddamn, I didn't either. Maybe they attached like wires to multiple stuff, and somebody was really they had like a whole Hollywood production. Something they can't see. The couple is terrified and jump out of bed and things only get worse. 
Juan and Nicole both appear to be physically shoved and thrown around by something that they can't see. Then as they make a run for the door, objects, furniture, and appliances move and fall without explanation. Yeah. At the end of the video, Nicole seems to Damn, be in such distress TV there. that her husband has to carry her out the door. Now, Yo, as with crazy. any alleged paranormal video, this recording could very well be a hoax. You imagine she weighs like 200 pounds, I, wires, I wouldn't be able to carry her. It seems bro. that it would be almost impossible <laughs> as so many things in the room are moving. Yeah. Also, Juan walks through the bedroom many times, and he doesn't seem to be carefully avoiding any wires or strings. Yeah, that's a good so point. is it real? Or is it all that's just a That's honestly a good point. He was moving hoax. a lot. You decide. Yeah, maybe this is Hollywood production? Letchworth. Levels are... In this next video, recorded by Sierra Rose, she and her two friends are exploring the abandoned and infamously haunted Letchworth Village Asylum located in Rockland County, New York. New York, okay. Long ago, the old asylum was a house of horrors for its residents. Patients were severely mistreated and neglected by the hospital staff. Asylum Damn. residents who passed away were simply buried in a nearby field. That room looked like Last of Us 2 start menu. Always of the asylum, Sierra captures something truly bizarre. Oh my god, yo, this does not look good, bro. Like, honestly, man. So you're going, but why are you even going? Like, bro, well, who are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to, what, who are you trying to prove? Get a flashlight out, maybe, wait, is that somebody there? Am I seeing like hands there? I don't know about that, bro. Oh, eh, 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 don't turn, yo, don't move the camera like that, bro. Turn the lights on. Yeah, there's somebody there, there's, yo, okay, listen. Yo, videos like that freak me out because, they, yeah, we actually, the first clip was similar to this one and that freaked me out. A shadow appears to move from left to right in a doorway. Sierra doesn't notice the odd shadow figure, but seems to get a strange feeling as she comments that she is, quote, freaking out. Now, whether this is a paranormal event or just a very strange trick of the light, I leave that up to you to decide. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, thankfully, wasn't water. that scary. <laughs> a man who was doing some lake fishing off the coast of Brazil claims that some strange sea creature with glowing eyes tried to attack his boat. He fled, revving his boat to full speed, but the creature pursued him. Creature, he said, pursuit? Wait, what? 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 No, that's a. Uh... Bruh. Okay, so, I mean, at nighttime when you capture footage the eyes are usually like that with cats and dogs but it's strange as to why that creature uh, like i would i have never seen a video where i have seen like a dolphin doing that at night time and it doesn't look like a dolphin it looks like one of those things i i don't know the name do you call them seal you know the, the they are lazy they lie down around the beach and they have like big eyes they're kind of cute ish though uh gray color and it looks like it's one of those but still creepy right because now some online video viewers were shocked by what they saw yeah they i don't think that's was normal. obviously a ferocious sea creature but other viewers thought that the animal could simply be a large dolphin or maybe a seal yeah a seal, so just a seal. what do you think this large thing is looks Let like a know. seal but I, but it's odd. I have never seen a dolphin or a seal do that at night. Italian time paranormal investigation team in Quieto TV traveled to what was once the dormitory of an old abandoned brick factory. The Damn, story goes factory. that the workers at the brick factory were exploited by the wealthy owner for years and worked in extremely dangerous conditions. Until one day, oh, they decided to form a workers' union and rebel against the rich factory owner. Mysteriously, yeah, after rich, perhaps not so mysteriously, what they're saying, not me. all of the workers who joined the union suddenly disappeared, never to be seen again. Many believe that the workers' union members met a terrible fate, but no evidence was ever found. Former factory workers and local townspeople believe that the brick factory dormitory is haunted by the workers' tormented souls. Inquieto TV explores the old building, but other than some creepy, unexplained sounds, they don't experience much of anything. At least, that's what they thought. When they review their footage later, they find uh -oh. that one of their cameras accidentally captured something truly chilling. Accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. Yeah, okay, so truly... 
Non so, io vedo tipo. Uh, I don't know, I see something. Is that a uh, chalice? Oh my dio. Oh my god, what Cazzo the shiza is that? Okay, I, I have a bad feeling, bro. I think he's gonna turn around and. It looks like uh, inaudible, give or take. Oh, oh it. Something happened behind? What's successo? I don't know, I heard a really loud noise. Yeah, you might wanna. You, whenever you're going outside like that, bro. The chains? The chains again? Okay, so what's happening? Oh, damn. Guys, basically, there's nothing left to see. The building ends here. Yeah, man, the building really ends here, bro. I would be saying that too. Oh, snap. So that thing lit on fire on itself is. Seems like. While exploring, the group discovers a strange chalice just sitting in the middle of the floor in one of the decaying rooms. They film the bizarre out of place artifact and then decide to move on. Mm. But as they leave the room, the cameraman lowers his camera before turning it off. His My guy, why? Now upside down. Okay, so I. Listen, man, why you go under your ball sack to do that? You could have just turned like that. Like, why take the camera right under your ball sack? Come on, man. Like, just do it like that. Easy. It's super easy, like that. Accidentally catches the chalice mysteriously catching fire. Yeah. The team's backs are turned as they leave the room and they don't even notice the flames. Soon after, the group decides to call it a night and just head home. Yeah, but GGs. that's not all that the Inquieto TV team captured at the abandoned brick factory. Their YouTube viewers pointed out something else that they missed during their investigation. Something what? downright creepy. Okay, okay, I heard you heard him. You heard him. I heard him. You said creepy. It was from upstairs. Yeah, take your lights. Take your lights. Take your aim down sight. I don't understand. It seemed like. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Uh, okay. <laughs> Your dark alleyways, I don't like. Not a fan. Not a fan of dark alleys. Alleyways. The car door should be closed. It's still closed. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there was a shadow. And I think they did not see, right? They didn't see that. But they saw once they checked their recording. You give me a shock. <laughs> the K2 meter is calm right now. Oh, you call it K2 then? Yeah, there's a shadow there, bro. The dark, mist like figure appears at the end of the hallway, moving from left to right before disappearing into thin air. Moments later, the figure briefly materializes again in the same hall. The Inquieto TV team are shocked by what they captured and say that they didn't notice anything unusual at the time. So, is this mysterious apparition the ghost of one of the workers who disappeared long ago? I leave it up to you. And just for all of you who stuck around till the end of this video, Dude, this was scary. extra clip. This now, was this legit scary. This video didn't make it into the top 10 because, well, it's a little too good, if you know what I mean. But it's okay. one of the creepiest Japanese ghost videos I've ever seen. Dang, a little too good, he said. All right, so we're really gonna end with a uh, with a uh, with the best one at the end. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, dude, what the hell was that, bro? You saw? You guys saw the face in the mirror? I don't wanna rewind. I don't wanna rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not true. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, bro. Like, dude, I don't want to ever do like another 30 minutes yeah, videos, yeah, yeah. right? Like, you staged it. What's the yeah, point? What is that? I don't get it. Well, sorry then. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs>
This is breaking my exe dog. So okay, question, question, question. So does that mean that she is really possessed? If, if this is true, I'm not sure. Okay, this might be staged. This might be not real. I don't know. Okay, but I'm just trying to be objective. I mean, Japanese people are. Oh my god, they, they are 500 IQ. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I ever want to do a 30 minute long video ever again. This one was creepy as a mother trucker, bro. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna 